And finally, the desert town of Lizard Breath hasn't been the same ever since that strange meteor fell from the sky in this preview of It Came From The Desert for the Amiga Personal Computer. As a daring scientist, your job is to find out what's going on in this forgotten town. Even though the locals don't take too kindly to your questions. Ah, the mystic gypsy fortune teller. From her, you can finally get a clue to this mystery. Oh no, how could she possibly know the full horror of the truth? Giant mutant ants the size of tanks, look out! If you survive that, you're sent off to the local hospital. But nobody believes your story. Don't they know that lizard breath is in danger? You've got to escape to the airfield. Maybe a face full of pesticide will stop these monsters. Even that's not enough. It's time to call in the military. There's an airstrike. Thanks, guys. These mutant ants know no fear. Even in a tank, they still try to hunt you down. Take that, you big bug! Will mankind survive these horrible monsters? In Wonder Boy 3, for the Sega Master System, a terrible curse has changed you into non-human form. In these strange bodies, you must travel through monster land in search of the salamander cross, the only thing that can make you human again. Here you're Mouse Man, the pesky little rodent who can climb walls and get into places no one else can. As Piranha Man, you continue your quest, picking up special weapons and money. But it's underwater that you're really at your best. Whoops. Woo! Cold. Oh, hey, Mom. Check out the duds. Ha, 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 ha. See ya. But even on land, you're not just a fish out of water. You are Piranha Man. As Lion Man, you're king of the Monsterland jungle. Come on, come on. Put them up, put them up. I can handle these guys on the ground, okay, but I don't know about that cloud up there. I better check my weapon screen and find out what I got. On the status screen, you can choose from the special items you picked up or the weapons you bought on the way. Now, well, let's see. Ivory, no. Mika, no. Uh, no. Oh, the crystal sword. I'll take it. Now, with the crystal sword in hand, I have become invincible. I'll hop up here. I'll chop him. No, go back. No way. Okay, I'll hop up there. Now, hop. Whoa! Hey! Oh, nice move. Nice move, Lion Man, into the hot, boiling lava. That was really good. Thank you. Fortunately, there's a hospital in Monster Land Town where I can get fixed up. Ooh, ah, careful. Okay, enough of Lion Man. Now, I am a Hawkman and can fly over almost anything. Ha <laughs> ha! Whoa, hey, there's that stupid cloud again. Oh, brother. Let's see Piranha Man try this. Look, Ma, no hands. <laughs> oh, I gotta rest. Hey, who's messing with the lights? Pretty cool. Let me see if I can control this. Well, can't change into a human, but Mouse Man's better than nothing. <laughs> Okay, Mouse Man, do your stuff. Will he ever find the Salamander Cross and return to his human form? Find out in Wonder Boy 3 for Sega Master System. Space Ace. In Space Ace, you can recreate the adventures of the galaxy's greatest hero as he battles the evil Commander Borf. Ace must save the universe and rescue the lovely Kimberly from Borf's vile clutches. Oh, sure. I'm just kidnapped by aliens, that's all. The journey to Borf's stronghold is filled with danger. Using the joystick or the keyboard, you must guide Ace past hungry alien beasts and treacherous paths. Timing is important, and one wrong move may be your last. Run. Run for your life through the maze-like alleyways of Borf Citadel. It's just like being in a cartoon, except you control the action. Whoa! Oh no, there's Borf with the dreaded Infanto Ray. One shot and you become a blubbering baby. Will our hero succeed? Will he destroy the fiendish Borf and rescue the space beauty Kimberly? Find out in Space Ace from ReadySoft. 
enterprise software pits you and your Amiga computer against the evil Barracks Empire. Two of your fellow space junkies have been captured, and the only way to rescue them is to blast your way through the hordes of alien ships and missiles. If you're lucky, you can pick up weapons along the way, like the screen-sweeping Nova missile. You can even pick up a special main weapon that can increase in power during the mission. Battle Squadron has special options screens that let you choose the level of difficulty, the number of enemy ships on a screen, or how many extra lives are available. There's even a screen that lets you select a two-player option, which can really come in handy on some of the tougher levels. Hey, get those missile towers! Take that, you alien freak! Look out, friend! Oh, no! Hey, welcome back, buddy. Stick close to me, kid. I'll see you through. Each level of the weird alien planet has its own sentinel creature, whether it's a mutated space monster or a murderous biomechanical spaceship. It will take nerves of steel and lightning quick reflexes to complete your desperate mission in Battle Squadron for the Commodore Amiga personal computer. New from Sunsoft, the Cape Crusader returns in Batman for the Nintendo Entertainment System. The sinister Joker and his evil henchmen have taken over Gotham City. The only hope to clear the streets and restore order is the courageous Dark Knight, Batman. Even the sewers are crawling with the Joker's monstrous goons. Batman must use his batarang and bat-like reflexes to destroy these creatures and avoid the dangerous traps. Using Batman's incredible agility and skill, you must find the right path to the Joker's hideout or risk oblivion. Oh no, another of Joker's traps. Each stage has a powerful boss creature obsessed with your destruction. Defeating these creatures will allow you to enter the next stage. Ah, the secret transmitter you've planted on the Joker has revealed his headquarters, the city's abandoned cathedral. Abandoned, yet deadly. Scale the treacherous bell tower, leaping past its bone-crushing gears and shafts while still evading the Joker's vicious goons. At last, face to face with the vile clown prince of crime. Holy lightning bolts! Dare you challenge him in his booby-trapped lair? Can even our hero vanquish the Joker's evil web of corruption? Who will triumph? Find out in Batman from Sunsoft for the Nintendo Entertainment System. From Activision, it's the wacky misadventures of Mo, Larry, and Curly in The Three Stooges. Poor Ma, she's broke and it's time to pay the rent on her orphanage. Don't worry, the bumbling Stooges are here to help. It's off to the big city to find whatever odd jobs they can to get the money. There's so many jobs and so little time. Better pick the right one. Boxing? Oh, that's easy. Curly goes bananas whenever Larry plays Pop Goes the Weasel on his violin. It'll be a cinch to win. Oh, Larry's violin broke. Larry's got to find something that plays Pop Goes the Weasel or Curly is doomed. Ugh. If he makes it, Curly becomes the champ. You're on your way to getting all the money Ma needs. But you'll need more than that. Time to pick another job. As wacky waiters, they can turn a fancy restaurant into a pie-throwing free-for-all. Every pie that hits earns them $10. If they get hit five times, they're history. Scooping crackers from a bowl of soup gets you $10 a catch. Watch out for those oysters. They love crackers. It's getting harder to pick a job. Ouch! The only way to slow down is to slap some sense into these silly guys. You miss me. Time is running out on Ma's orphanage. Can these blithering buffoons save the day? That's the Three Stooges from Activision for the Nintendo Entertainment System. The amazing Mario Brothers, those unlikely heroes, are back in their latest and greatest adventure, Super Mario Brothers 3. The seven kings of the mushroom world have been transformed into animals by the fiendish Bowser, and it's up to the Mario brothers to recover the stolen magic wands that will turn them back. The mushroom world has become a land filled with traps and weird creatures.